Well, Jim, I said it before and I'll say it again. Watching these highlights makes me think about watching this game yeah. that's later today because this is a big game. Can you believe it? Last game of the year, biggest game of the year. Yeah. Very much so. Well, tell the people what the weather is going to be like for all of those festival goers out yeah. there and people who are actually going to watch the game as well. Well, the nice thing is if you're going to French Quarter Festival or if you're going to the Smoothie King Center, you don't have to park like, you know, a block away. The weather's going to be so nice. Park six, seven, eight blocks away. A nice walk for you. Good way to get exercise. Weather's going to be great. Our temperatures, well, they're warming up. We're at 71 in Hammond. It's about three, four, five degrees warmer this morning than it was yesterday at this point. But you know, I put something on Facebook earlier and I said, oh, it's a little warmer, a little more muggy. And everyone came back. They said, what are you talking about? It's beautiful. So I'll go ahead and agree with them. It is beautiful. 68 in Baton Rouge, 72 in Homa. Galliano, look at that. Galliano and Grand Isle leading as we approach the three furlong mark. They're at 74 degrees right now. And we're going to end up in the low 80s in most spots today, I think. Now, this is important. This is the visibility forecast. And earlier, it looked like Monday morning was going to be a little bit foggy for us. And that's something we're really going to consider all next week, the possibility of foggy mornings, especially by Thursday and Friday. But let me show you the visibility forecast, pausing things tomorrow morning at about 6 a.m. Does not look like it's going to be overly foggy by any stretch of the imagination. That's a great thing. Fog in the morning can be real troublesome, especially on a Monday morning. Doesn't look like Monday morning is going to be very foggy. Current conditions right now at Lewis Armstrong International Airport. There's your dew point at 63. Dew points are going to stay in the 60s for much of next week. That means it's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy, a little humid in the afternoon. 71, the temperature now on its way to the low 80s. Thanks to that southerly wind at six miles per hour, it's going to be a degree or two warmer than yesterday. High pressure bringing us that southerly wind, that warm Gulf air, and obviously it's also moist air, so we'll have a little cloud cover in the afternoon. Some of those clouds are going to be very high, thin clouds because we're seeing the moisture increase at the upper levels of the atmosphere as well. But let's go hour by hour, show you how the weekend ends and how the work week begins. Today, we'll call it a mostly sunny day, although the clouds will increase a bit for us by the mid-afternoon. High temperature, low 80s in a lot of spots, very, very nice and comfortable and just a touch breezier than yesterday. Tomorrow morning, again, we were worried about the possibility of fog. Doesn't look like it's going to be anything we're concerned about. And then tomorrow afternoon, even though the clouds will increase a bit for us by the later afternoon, high temperature, low, maybe even mid 80s. But here really comes the cloud cover. Tuesday through Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, mostly cloudy skies expected, although it's still going to be warm. High temperatures are going to be in the low 80s each day next week. Here comes your next chance for rain. It's a cold front that'll become stationary and the computer models are not in agreement A as to when it's going to rain and B as far as how much rain we're going to get. Here's the stationary front on Saturday, maybe a couple of showers, 20% chance for rain there. Sunday looks to be wetter, but is it going to rain in the morning, afternoon or evening? This model is saying late in the day. Some of the other models are saying it's going to rain starting at 9 a.m. So to go ahead and just plan ahead, Saturday looks to be the better of the two weekend days, at least at this point. Increasing clouds today, a little more humid, a little breezy, high temperature in the low 80s, still very good stuff. Becoming mostly clear tonight, North Shore, you're going to wake up in the upper 50s. And then tomorrow afternoon, the clouds will increase a bit, especially by 4 or 5 o'clock. Patchy fog going to be very limited. High temperature in the low 80s again tomorrow. And then we actually get to the mid 80s by Thursday. Fog, I think, is going to be a, something we have to consider Thursday and Friday, and it may be kind of thick. Foggy Saturday as well. And then again, that better chance for rain Sunday. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.